Hey everyone, uh, my name is Sid and I'm here at the Summer Institute for Student Leadership and Global Citizenship. Uh, it's day two here, 11 p.m. and as you can probably tell, <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm, I'm very thankful and um, humbled by the opportunity to take part in this institute. Uh, there's 42 participants uh, who have such a wide variety of um, backgrounds and experiences and they bring different skill sets to the table. Um, there's been some really stimulating dialogue and discussion uh, and we've had some amazing speakers from all kinds of different, um, I guess, who've had all kinds of different experiences who've really uh, spoken to us about different issues. Um, I guess I, uh, I came in knowing that the world is not working the way it really should. Uh, you have such a, a large gap between rich and poor and the inequalities that exist in this world are ridiculous. Um, I guess religion um, oh, it preaches love and caring and um, helping one another, uh, but yet all, all I, I, I see is unfortunately religion is creating u uh, division instead of unity and, and, and being the reason for, for wars. Um, similarly to the borders that we've created, these makeshift borders that we now call co different countries, um, and people looking out for the best interest of their countries and, and not um, the best interest of human beings, right? And I think as one of the speakers, Jennifer, said it, said it best, um, we are one race in this world, we're the human race. Uh, and that ties into to my belief coming into this conference in that um, we are all global citizens. Every human being on this world is a global citizen. They inhabit this world, we're all human beings, um, and we need to look out for one another. Um, what else? Uh, Gary Robson said something really interesting today when uh, he was talking about the TP and he really provided context and started off the conference well, but when he spoke about the TP and the different polls, uh, referring to every poll as the peoples of the different countries, and as he said, if one poll is weak or you pull one poll over to the side, uh, the entire TP will fall, and that's how I feel about this world. Um, you have some developing nations that uh, there's so much conflict going on, um, deaths, and uh, it's it's uh, governments that aren't for the people. Um, you have people that in these countries that are willing to die because they have nothing to live for, just to make a statement. They're willing to sacrifice their lives, and um, something needs to be needs to be done. Like sooner or later, this world is only going to progress um, at the speed of the the weakest link, or only progress. Um, if we can progress forward together um, as, as humans. Um, the other thing, uh, we talked a lot about global citizenship and what that means. Uh, and I have to agree with um, Ginny, I believe her name was, when she said, um, what does global citizenship means? In short, it's, it's an extension of the responsibility. If we are all global citizens and we are all citizens of this world, we're all human beings, um, then it is our responsibility not only to be citizens of our countries or, or of our backgrounds and religions, but citizens of this world as a whole, right? And um, help one another. Uh, and uh, it'll be interesting to see where things go in the next uh, next few weeks. I'm really excited. But I guess I'll leave us with a couple quotes. Um, me coming from being involved in the student union and obviously having a, a passion for education and what that can do. Uh, just in the last session, um, the gentleman, I believe his name was Wilder, um, aside from talking about Bar Italia, he spoke about education, how important that was. And we were left with uh, Zefania, who, um, who left us with that quote right at the end. He said, um, if you're going to live for one year, um, then you should grow rice. If you're looking out for 10 years, uh, you should grow a tree. But if you're looking out for 100 years, you should educate the masses. Um, and just like Nelson Mandela said, um, and don't quote me because I know I'm off, but Education is one of the most powerful tools in this world, something along those lines, uh, and I have to agree with them. Uh, that's all for, for me. 